Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, I decided to celebrate the starting of spring and winter going away by making another winter creation up. That doesn't really make any sense, but in today's episode, we are on top of a massive mountain that has been fitted as a slalom skiing racetrack. That is right, guys. So if I hop out of the seat here, you guys can take a quick look. There it is. We can see a gate right down there. And we are also going to be checking out these really awesome skis that are really, really fun to use. So those skis are following the same theme of this snowboard right here. Now if you do want to check out the video on it, I will leave a link in the description and you guys can go and check that out. But it was there that it was suggested that I actually make the skis. So I have finally done that. Here they are again guys, the skis and the downhill slope. So I figured in this video, we're gonna hop on the skis. I'll do a slow track of this course here so you guys can see it. Then we are gonna try and do one as fast as we can. And we're also gonna add a downhill massive ski jump to it. And of course, I'll show you guys the magic behind the skis as well. So let's hit the slopes. All right, here we are. I am strapped into my boots on the skis here, guys. So like I said, let's just do a slow track of this course so we can see what is up. All right, so you can see I have created a well-groomed area here, and it's kind of just the track that you have to follow. All right, so as you can see though, this is of course just a slalom snow area, so we're gonna do our best to try and not miss any of these gates whatsoever. All right, so you can see, of course, just like slalom though, you have to kind of go back and forth. Now this is a pretty cool spot right here. This is a pretty sweet jump, oh yeah. And it keeps on going down. Right here, there is a very, very sharp turn. You wanna try and stay tight on the inside. And we are gonna cruise along. There's another gate there. I guess this isn't the most difficult downhill slalom track around, but this is just so much fun. And we're not even trying to go as fast as we can here. We were just using a lot of gravity there. But as you can see, these things are extremely stable and they are just so much fun to use. So why don't we go back up to the top of the mountain there? We're gonna try and do one as fast as we can and then we're gonna get a little more creative. All right, so we're back at the top of the mountain here. As you can see, to get into the skis, there's actually an invisible seat right here. Now, all you gotta do, of course, is press the button and you hop right inside of those boots there. So, overall, I'm really happy with the design of these skis. They're, they're relatively simple, but I think they work a lot better than that snowboard. But now, guys, let's try and do a speed run of this slalom track. All right, here we go. I'm gonna actually give it a little bit of power. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta be careful now. All right, some big downward. Watch out for the gates. Oh man, this is so much fun. All right, that was a nice turn there. Now we gotta be very careful here. This jump can be pretty bad. Oh, sweet air. Whoa, bad landing though, very bad landing. All right, we're cruising along here. Let's do this nice sharp turn right there. Look at that. All right, we're just gonna hold down the, uh, the speed button here. All right, one more gate to go beautiful run I would say whoa almost hit that gate and there we go we are now back at the bottom uh, so before we actually check out what is going on here let's hop into the tile editor and make ourselves an extremely massive ski jump all right so this is the tile that we are working with here so I had the idea though guys that I would start from up here and we can do like a massive ski jump right here that would just go over top of the ending of the slalom section right there. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, here it is, guys. This is the ski jump. It is absolutely massive. So why don't we try this out here? We're gonna edge our way to the ramp. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna let gravity do the work here, I think. And I'm gonna try and launch ourselves off of the ramp there. All right, we're picking up quite a bit of speed here. 
I'm not even using any forward thrust whatsoever. Now, let's see. Is it going to be smooth enough to transition here? There we go. All right, we're going to press W. Come on. This is not enough speed. <laughs> Okay, that was, um, so that ski jump was definitely pretty disappointing. Um, we've noticed before, though, that the downward physics on hills and stuff in Scrap Mechanic are linear, so you can't actually really accelerate faster than the slope would allow, so you can't carry momentum, which is very unfortunate in a physics-based game, so maybe they might add some more sophisticated stuff when it comes to that. Uh, but now, guys, let's check out how this thing actually works. So here's what the skis look like with the invisible mod pack on. And here are the skis with the visible mod pack. So as you can see, it looks extremely different. I do have another mod, which is the invisible parts mod. Uh, and that actually is for the three by one wheels, which you can't see unless we actually bring up our lift here. There you go. You can see there's a few things. now. I added some invisible electric motors uh, because that actually increased the weight just a little bit. So the difference between this one here and the snowboard, which is just over here, is the snowboard didn't have any suspension whatsoever. Uh, so I decided to put a little more forethought into this one. And as you can see, we do have sus suspension here, which actually makes this extremely stable. And another thing to point out between the snowboard and the skis is the snowboard uses thruster steering, whereas the the skis actually use uh, some bearing steering, so it's way more stable, and with the suspension added onto it, it's just so much fun to use. So, like I mentioned before, there is an invisible seat right here like this, so you can see, guys, what a difference uh, when you have the invisible and the visible mod packs loaded in. Now, obviously, this does not quite look like skis anymore, but I figured we would do one last little run down here with the actual mod loaded in so you can see what is actually happening when we're going down. So there we go. We're going to just take our time. Uh, so the the hitbox of the skis does extend out past the, uh, the, the skis themselves a little bit. So you do have to kind of oh, not drive directly into the gate. That would be a great idea. Uh, but as you can see guys those gates are a part of the world. They are not built in so that way. There's no lag There's no issues whatsoever. Oh boy. There we go. That was a nice landing uh, So you can see the suspension is doing what it's got to do. Whoa, I am NOT going to miss this gate uh, The suspension makes a massive difference in the ability to go downhill and maneuver some of these tighter turns uh, I don't really feel too afraid of tipping over as you can see this thing just kind of coasts down the hill with no problems whatsoever. So there you have it guys, that is going to be the video today. I figured I would do my outro with a little bit of cross-country skiing here through all of these wonderful trees. Uh, so guys, if you did enjoy this build, or if you enjoyed the video, then please let me know by hitting that like button. It'll certainly help the channel out. Uh, maybe even consider leaving a comment down below uh, with maybe even more ideas for some scrap mechanic creations. Uh, so if you guys did want to see some more of this endless scrap mechanic, then by all means hit that subscribe button, maybe even turn on some notifications by clicking on that bell, and you guys will be alerted of the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So I want to thank you all for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.